everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Candy if you haven't been here before I do all kinds of stuff I do fashion hauls I do book readings which I've only done one of <laughs> I thrift shop that's about I mean I really don't do makeup tutorials or anything like that just kind of shopping and stuff so hi um Hey everybody, so today Brian and I went to Target and to Savers and we also have a special guest at the end of the video for you to meet. We have had an addition to the family which I will let Brian introduce and so we'll hold out and see what we have or who we have. You'll never know. Okay, so let's start with Target. Because that is the biggest thing here. And it is hot and sweaty in St. Louis today. So I didn't even try and fix my hair or do anything with it. So yes, it is a frizzed out mess. And yeah, I know most of the time it doesn't look the greatest. But today, whew, the heat is incredible. It's like sitting in the middle of a rainforest. I am not kidding. Okay, so anyway, we went to one of our targets. And... I found these two bowls in the the dollar spot, I think it's called. Isn't it the dollar spot? I think it's called the dollar spot. Anyway, it's there. And we found, I found these bowls. Got them home. Because Brian likes big soup bowls. And we're, I'm thinking, oh, these are great. Because most of the time we don't eat in our dining room. I mean, this thing is huge. Look at that. And I'm thinking we could fit our entire meal in here and it's not going to spill out anywhere. It's not going to be do anything. Well, when we got it home, it is actually dishwasher, microwave, and oven safe. They have two styles. They have the one with the little pasta noodles and they have the one that says pasta. They actually have two bowls in a set also that I think are supposed to go with these, but I don't like them. But I mean, these are going to take the place of, we went Tuesday, I think it was, and we found them for the first time. And then, so we went to a different Target today because I have two favorite Targets and they didn't have any. So we went back to the original Target we had found them in and got two more. So I now have four of these bowls and they are, I absolutely love them. I'm going to make Swiss steak in them tonight for dinner. I, it's awesome. Okay. I also got two Spa Life Anti-Aging Collagen Gold Facial Mask. Um, I think they, you said these $3.99 a piece? $2.99. $2.99 a piece. Um, we never test on animals. And it's just a face mask, one of them that you, it's the actual mask. I have trouble with the ones where you rub them on, that for some reason this hollow in my cheek, it never dries. I can sit there for a half hour and it will never dry. I, no clue, everywhere else it does. So these I find, and my skin is starting to get a little wrinkly here and there. So I figured that'd be a good thing. Got some, I'm hoping this is going to work well. It says, use like E6000, it's Gorilla Glue Clear Group, Clear Grip. And I have started making little shakers. And you, you fill these up. I make the resin and then you fill these in with little bits and bobbles. And then you seal it with a piece of pl uh, plastic and you shoot mineral oil in there and it moves around. So I needed something like that. But this one I made a little scarab beetle. Isn't that so cute? My husband wanted the scarab beetles and so I got scarab beetles. I've also got, uh, as far as resins go, I've got a blood and pulse, pus coughing going. And a shaker for a friend which this one, see, it will be in there. And then I seal it with plastic. See, the back has got the hard resin. And then she can see in and see. And it'll be trimmed up. So, that's what the glue is for. 
and my husband. That's a sweetie today, and let me get more clothes. <laughs> I got, he doesn't like this one. He doesn't like floral prints. But it's got the elastic up here at the top. Orangish in color, and it's a high-low with big flowers. I love it. I think it's going to be cool and loose and fitted, and flowy, I mean. And this one was from Ava and Viv, and it was $19. So... That is from Target. And then, I love summer sweaters. I have no idea why, I just do. And this is a tomato red, tomato soup red sweater. With a little up here, and it was 17. Now the only thing that concerned me is the size of the sleeve, the opening. Um, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to wear a cami or something under this, so you're gonna see right into side boob on that. I mean, that is, uh, I know girls who have smaller waist than that. That's just insane. So we got that. That was, other than food, that was our whole big target thing. We're going to have, like I said, I'm making Swiss steak tonight. So good, and I can't, we're gonna actually do it with stew meat instead of the cheap little steaks you're supposed to make it with. So cross your fingers, it works out. Now, then we went to Savers. Okay. And first thing I found was these frames. Now I had actually found a fourth one, but if they wanted $4.99, and I think I've seen the same frame. Brian and I were talking either it was Hobby Lobby or it was Walmart. We're not sure which, but I found a set of these for 99 cents a piece. And they got the little stands in the back. Uh, we were talking about putting different things around Italy in there because our front room, if you've ever seen the movie Hudson Hawk, her apartment is what Brian and I want to do to our living room. We just, both of us love that look. That, that Italian Renaissance type, just, gorgeous architecture and everything so that's what we're going to do but in one corner is going to be a very modern desk so that's going to look very strange but anyway here's these and hold on this one still has a sticker on it these are from it doesn't want to let go Hold on, hold on, I'm trying here. It doesn't want to let go. Well, that's weird. All it's got is nineteen eighty three Action Industries Incorporated, Chesapeake, Pennsylvania. Action and was that's it. Must have been some little store or something that are just one that sold to retailers. But I got two of those. And then I also found this one. So I'm on the fence about wanting to clean these up or not. Because I just love them, but I mean kind of got that old age patina to them so what I might do is just clean them and sterilize them and do that uh, if you're new to my channel you don't know but I have chinchillas so we are always on the lookout for new fleeces for them and this one I think was like two bucks and he's gonna cut it up and put it in there yeah two ninety nine so we got more fleeces for the chins. I also found this mirror. Oh, this is going to be fun. See yourself. <laughs> uh, this mirror 
and from the looks of it it that's the way it's supposed to look i don't think it's supposed to be cleaned up and it was 4.99 and we had how much did we we had a 20 percent off a 20 percent off and then we have we use uh rewards at savers and we're on their rewards program so we got our reward bleh. Oh, talking is hard. Um, used our reward points and our donation, which is 20%, which on Tuesdays, if you're 55 and older, you get 30% off. But the guy was telling me at the front today, the cart guy who's cleaning them, that uh, Tuesday was impossible to get in there. So I'm kind of glad I didn't go. Okay, the last... Yeah, the last thing I've got of interest today is this shirt from Savers. That's the back. I love the lace roses. It's so pretty. And the collar in the front. And then it's just got the floral with the flowers. And it's so soft and stretchy. It is a little thin. But, I mean, if I wear a black bra with this, who's going to care if a little bit of skin tone shows through? And this was $6.99. And it says that it is from... Does it have an inside tag? Yeah, it has an inside tag. Oh, this is from Maurice's. And it's a size 3. So I don't know what, I've never shopped there, so I don't know their sizing. But I did the boob thing and this one fits, so I guess I'm a, at Maurice's, I'm a size 3. <sighs> see? You can't see. Okay, I'm not going to try this on today because it was in a thrift store. Uh, these I would try on, but that's kind of silly when I can just show you guys all these on when this shirt's clean. Um, okay, so, you want to go get our little, about three months ago, my son, Sean, my oldest son and his girlfriend, the mama cat had more babies. Second set. The kitten, the cat got dropped on them when uh, they had when she was pregnant and so he had one set and my last old youngest son took twins that were black and my daughter took their brother loki which they live next to each other and they don't get along anymore you got me you would think but they don't well then the mama cat as i said got pregnant again and this time it was two orange ones and I'm like, oh, come on. I'm 56 years old. I'm tired. Our cats are old. If they go, I'm going to be 80 and still have a cat. And I fell in love with one of the little orange ones. It was so cute. But um, Amber, my son's girlfriend, doesn't want to separate twins, which I don't blame her. And the little black one was so cute. And the last time we were out there, I tried to bring him home. And they wouldn't let me. He still had little blue eyes. I like getting cats that are that young when I can wean them myself because they seem to become more attached faster. Well, this one, this, there he is, there he's in here. This little turkey, my son called and asked me, Mom, do you, what's the decision? He goes, you know about black cats. Now, if you don't know about black cats, here, I'll let you pan over to him and no, then... No, I got dirty clothes on. So do I. I look like hell. I have ketchup. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Dear. <sighs> this is Starmy. Come on, Starmy. It's... <laughs> He's two and a half months old. He is a mix black medium hair tabby slash Siamese. Put him down on here. See if you will set... There we go, baby. 
Kingdom. No, he's 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 Mr. Adventure. <laughs> okay, so we were going to name him Bendy. Hi guys, I'm back. I we were going to name him Bendy after a game we like, but it turned out, you know, as my son was saying, sorry, backtrack a little bit. My son's like, you know what to watch for with black cats. Because black cats get urinary UI infections very easily. Uh, we were told this by a vet when we took our British Bombay in trying to save his life. And he actually died on the way to the vet. And he had a blockage in his urinary tract. Uh, the way to tell this, the first way to tell this with black cats is they will hang out, any cat will hang out in their cat litter box. Um, they will not play in it. They are laying in it. They are sleeping in it because they they keep thinking just, I got to go to the bathroom. And male black cats are notoriously, the vet said, for losing, being lost because of this. Something with the males. And uh, our cats are all sprayed and neutered. So that didn't even have a factor in it, though they told us so. Please, if you get a black cat, watch out. Uh, why we named him Stormy is when my son called and said, you know how to do this. And we're like, okay. He's like, we're coming over and it was his birthday. And so we sat there and let him play. And Sean stayed the entire day, deep, probably till 11, 12 midnight, him and his girlfriend left. And so Stormy, it was storming outside. Bad when they came and when they left Stormy, they said goodbye and Stormy ran out of the room and they left real quick. Well, when they left, he was kind of lost for a little while. And then I just curled him up in my arms in bed cause he's afraid of the dark and went to sleep. So he sleeps between Brian and I. Now our cat Madison, who's 16, I shaved her the other day because her long fur is just keeps getting matted. She looks like a lion now. No kidding. And she, uh, she's kind of upset with us. Trixie, mm -mm, Madison's sister, no. Mm, ma she hates other cats. She likes humans and humans only. And then we have Sookie who is nine or ten I forget so she's took a week to warm up to them and they're playing a little bit until you see them and then they they both stop it's hilarious but that is how he got his name he keeps bringing storms in and he is just the cutest little thing he seemed to miss Sean and Amber at first but now he's adjusted really well he is definitely Brian's cat now, we got him on a Sunday, Saturday or Sunday, I don't remember which. Anyway, Brian gets up, Brian is working from home, and he goes to work. And he was working in our front uh, sunroom, which is like a third bedroom in this place, but our chinchillas are in there. So, he was, Starmie discovered the chinchillas and wanted to play, and chinchillas sleep all day. And so our chinchillas were getting crabby, really crabby. And starting, uh, we've already got so that our two males are fighting. We're having to find a home for our, our youngest male chin. And that's heartbreaking enough. And we bring the chins in to play with Starmie. And yes, it's perfectly safe. We, we watch, we're with them. And they just have a blast. But Brian was getting no work done because Starmie was messing with the chins. The chins are getting upset. So he moved back into the office or back into the front room to work. And so Starmie, every Monday through Friday this past week, when Brian got up, he went with him. Mom wasn't up yet. Mom doesn't get up and stay up until later in the day. And well, when the weekend came, he thought it was time for dad to be up. And so he starts running across us and won't stop. Just back and forth, back and forth, up on the headboard, down. Oh, I mean, just going crazy, trying to get Brian up because it was time to go to work. 
So we're hoping this weekend that he learns. We really do because we're, he's discovered the headboard and he's discovered the netting above the headboard and he discovered Brian's lamp last night. So yeah, um, all right. I was too old to have a baby. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, I will wash this shirt. Get these, see what I can do with the, the, the tomato one. And if I need to wear a shirt under it or not. And see if the other one fits where I can stand it. That it's not uh, up here at my neck killing me. Uh, then I'll do that. And I can catch up with you guys again. I did not shoot my bedroom or bathroom. Because it's been gloomy. Or I've just not been feeling so good. Um... If you want to see the art that I've been doing, uh, it's Candy Style on Instagram. And it's got, I've started my Halloween stuff. I've got some uh, fairy work. I've done some gruesome stuff. I've done some pretty trays. It's, um, it's all on my Instagram. I think it's Candy Style. I'll put a link down below. And also I'm probably going to be starting a website I'm going to be getting um, trying to get a small uh, what is it called grant a grant for um, just for starting a business so cross your fingers stick a needle in my eye what is that old saying I don't remember it but anyway, that's what I want to do. So I want to try and get a grant for a small business loan or a grant for small businesses. And then I want to get a website going. I want to get supplies. I want to get ads going. I, um, my son's girlfriend, Amber, came over the other day and saw what I was doing and said, this stuff is really good. You need to get it out there. And that felt good because I was doubting myself on a lot because I've been trying to sell stuff on Facebook and it just doesn't go very quickly. Except for my clothes. When I resell my clothes, my clothes go fast. I don't understand that. But, yeah, I got, uh, I've got moon phases. Here, I'll show you if I can get this. Okay, my moon phases I do a bit different than most people do. So, here you've got, here you got the, the dark side of the moon. Okay, then you've got the moon. Okay, now if I do this, <laughs> I have to put those down. If you can see here, there's a difference in the color of the dark side of the moon, just a little, and the light side of the moon. You see, then you have, and these glow. Um, very sweet woman this weekend actually bought these as a nightlight for her kids' room, which I thought was a really cool idea. And I wanted to go to Hobby Lobby today, darn it, and look for rods. Uh, we were even in Kirkwood. Okay, I forgot all about that. Okay, guys, so I will see you tomorrow. And I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. <sighs> Stay classy. Always sassy, but never trashy. Love you.